Hey guys, this is Sam and this is Twitter 7.0. It's a pretty big update. There's a lot that changed. The entire design looks quite a bit different than it did before. And with every update, there's gonna be people that love it and people that hate it. I'm a big fan of how it looks and there's a lot to talk about, so let's jump into it. First up in your timeline is that profile icons are now circular. They used to be rounded rectangles. I think this help makes the app look a little bit more modern, definitely more fresh than before, but it's a different change. It's sort of weird to adjust to it first, but you get used to it really quickly and I like the way it looks. Also new in your timeline is a feature for power users, or at least that's who I think it's geared towards. You can see live tweet engagement without having to pull to refresh or tapping on a tweet to see new likes, retweets, or replies, that all updates dynamically now, so you don't have to refresh, and it's definitely not a feature that everyone will find useful, but I think it's really cool and useful for anybody who likes to track engagement. Now you'll also notice that down below the tab bar looks a little bit different. There's no link to your profile anymore, you just have the normal timeline, search, notifications slash activity tab in addition to your DMs. To access your personal profile, you have to swipe over from left to right from the left side of the screen or tap on your profile icon in the very top left of the screen, and then here you get access to all the Twitter accounts that you're currently signed into, your name, your Twitter handle, who you're following, and then who's following you, in addition to a quick link to your profile, list you've created or that you're a part of, and Twitter moments that you'd like to create. Now taking a step back to the profile view, this is one of the smaller changes. Once again, you see that rounded profile icon, but besides that, it looks pretty much the same as it did in the past. Something that does look different though is the new tweet view. You can quickly tap just like that to insert photos now. You don't have to go into your media library if it's a photo that you recently took. It looks pretty cool and it's super easy and fast. But jumping back to the side menu, below those options you have access to your settings and privacy options in addition to the help center, which I guess is useful for people that are new to Twitter, but I've never seen myself ever need to use that option ever. Below that in the bottom left hand corner you have easy access to night mode, which is nice because now you can just swipe over and tap on that to go in and out of night mode at your convenience. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can view your personal Twitter QR code in addition to scanning someone else's. Finally, when you tap on a link now, you get a new Safari view controller, which is sort of technical. It just means the data that you've entered in the Safari app is now accessible through Twitter. So if you log into an account on Facebook, say, and you click on a Facebook link in Twitter, your account data will already be there. You won't have to re-enter it like you had to before. So those are the big new changes in Twitter 7.0, but sprinkled throughout the app are some new icons, some bolder headlines, and overall, I think it's a really solid app update. Is it gonna take some time to get used to? Absolutely, but in the long run, I think it's totally gonna be worth it. As always, I love hearing your thoughts, so let me know what you think about this Twitter update down below in the comment section, because it is kind of controversial. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course, subscribe for more app update videos in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you later.